predestination is one of those topics that can really turn what, what appears to be peaceful on the surface and just fracture it into a billion pieces. So you, you have to do something with predestination. So more, more than I want to get into the controversy of it all, uh, I want to say that the Bible is just really clear that there's some kind of predestining going on. Uh, and, and so you, you can go all the way to the five points of Calvinism on that, or you can go, no, 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 what he means here by this is this or this, uh, but you have to do something with it because it's there, right? It's there in the book of Romans, it's there in the book of Ephesians, it's kind of, I mean, blatantly there in some of those texts that God predetermined beforehand, right? Uh, and so the, the way I've always tried to think about it it is is just again in the book of Romans where where the Bible begins to talk about our salvation like this for those he foreknew right those he foreknew he knew about beforehand now the the thing about talking about the foreknowledge of God is there has to be a kind of knowing that's different than knowing here's what I mean by that um, like like I can know like we know that God knew. Um, everyone on earth, but then he would say that he knew Israel, like he knew her in a way that was distinct from how he knew everyone else on earth. So there was a special kind of knowing, a special kind of loving that was given to the people of Israel. And and so if you take those whom he foreknew, he also predestines, which, which just means predetermined. So he foreloved, he foreknew, I, there's something special that, I, so then from there he, he predestines them to become conformed to the image of his son, to the glory of God the Father. And so what you're looking at in predestination is God's complete and, and powerful sovereignty over the salvation of men and women. Now, I, I want to I just speak to the, the more commonly held um, objections against that idea of predestination. Um, one, I, I don't think that turns us in any way into robots, or, or we're not talking about determinalism, right? So why do anything because God's gonna do everything? No, this, th this predestining God, this, this predetermining God has invited us into what he is up to all over the world. Uh, and, and so we share the gospel with everyone and we keep sharing the gospel with everyone, with every breath we have, because we don't know when the Lord will open the heart. What I am confident of is that it's not about me and my presentation and that God is able to save. So the most hardened, I'm not interested, I'm, I, there's no way I'm ever gonna give my life to Jesus Christ, should not, should not damper my enthusiasm that as the prophet Isaiah said, the arms of the Lord are not too short to save. So I'm gonna ferociously share the gospel with everyone I can for as long as I live, knowing that God is gonna draw unto himself those who will believe upon the name of Jesus. And if you're going, well, how do we know? I'm saying we can't know, but we can tell and we can pray and God has ordained to accomplish his purposes through the prayers of his people.